What is good YouTube? Today I'm going to be going over AMC and GME stock and why tomorrow is going to be an important day. But before I do get into that, make sure to go down and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because only about 30% of you guys watching are actually subscribed. So today was a bloody day throughout the whole stock market it is not looking good the stock market looking pretty weak gamestop did close down four percent below 22 dollars at 21 dollars and 97 cents and when i saw that the whole stock market was red i did close out some of my calls for gamestop the ones expiring in october still holding my 20 dollar calls expiring on november 15th but the majority of my calls i did exit i did take a little bit of profit but if we take a look at this it can be another rounding top you know i don't like to say it I hate to say it, but it really depends what happens tomorrow. I might load back into my calls if we do see the SPY start to rise. Now, what I did like on the SPY today is that we could have saw a double bottom here at $566. So tomorrow, if we could make a bounce and go back to all-time highs and break all-time highs all the way up to $574 once again, then we will see GameStop rise and pass $24 easily now none of this is financial advice i'm not telling anyone to buy sell or hold but now the majority of money that i had in gamestop calls is in a cash position just in case we do dip down to 21 dollars if that happens anything below 21 dollars we could test this level of $20.50. If this does come back down, you know damn well, I'm loading back all into call options. So it doesn't hurt to take a little bit of profit, you know, anticipating a little drop for GameStop. AMC, on the other hand, it might test this level of $4.35. I don't see it going lower than that. You know, today it was down 3%, closed at $4.40, over 7 million shares traded. And you know, it was just a bloody day throughout the whole stock market. So tomorrow, it really depends where the stock market goes like i said the s p 500 is really going to determine where the stock is going to go the only other thing that can make gamestop go up even if everything else is crashing down is if roaring kitty reveals his portfolio or ryan cohen makes a huge announcement that is the only way you know gamestop will break the freaking matrix break the whole stock market and go green and at the end of the day though you know if we zoom out s p 500 is still trading at all time highs so Tomorrow is going to be a massive day. If it does continue to drop, sadly, I feel like GameStop can just be forming another rounding top, just like we did back here. You know, we had this little formation. It could just be another one. But, you know, you got to look at it from the positive side. It may give you the opportunity once again to load up into GameStop below $20 possibly if it does happen so that's why tomorrow is going to be an important day you guys are going to want to be seeing where the spy goes the nasdaq the qqq all that if we can have a green day tomorrow i would not be surprised if gamestop does break up to the upside once again we're still in this level of consolidation at the end of the day this 22 dollar level that we've been at for more than a week now so as long as we could hold 21 dollars and 80 cents and we could see the stock market start to rise, then we could still stay in this bullish trend. This guy said, GameStop long-term ideas. Potential for return toward lower trend, making a new higher low around $20. Weakness at above could spell drop towards $17.50. If market reverses plus volume comes in, another breakout test could happen. And if that does happen, it could go to $23 to $25. Past $25, we're going to see $29 once again. Now, I do kind of disagree where he says $17.50. I really think the level of support is anything below $20. I believe if it goes back below $20, we're not going to see it for long, possibly a day or two, and then it'll bounce right back up, in my opinion. One of my favorite indicators, though, the on-balance volume, as you guys see right now, it's the highest it's been since July when we had a run up to $29.99. That means people are still accumulating the stock way more than before earnings. And even way more than when we were running up to $29, almost past $30. So, you know, people are anticipating a massive run. I mean, there was someone that just loaded $92 million into GameStop stock. Adam Aaron did come out with a tweet today. He said, movies are better when you are munching on sweet donut holes. For our AMC shareholders, AMC Investor Connect members viewing a movie at our U.S. theaters can get one free order of our deliciously dusted donut holes in flavors such as tasty strawberry, rich peanut butter, or luscious cinnamon sugar, including tempting icing. Also, for those who join AMC Investor Connect by October 31st of 2024, it's free for our shareholders to join. And then he reposted this. It says, we make donut holes better. Just Adam Aaron freaking with the donut holes that is just classic so adam Aaron had that to say at the end of the day the amc fundamentals are extremely strong we're going to see possibly another massive quarter going into q4 q3 is going to be huge when the news drops but q4 might even be 
bigger, possibly, not guaranteed. You know, it might be a little hard to outperform Q3, but it is possible. So this guy said 10 big hits are coming in Q4 of 2024. This quarter will be the best quarter ever for AMC theaters in 104 year history. Are you excited? Let's freaking go. So we do have some bangers coming out. We got Venom coming out. That could be a billion dollars right there. Mufasa, The Lion King, a family-friendly movie. We saw the last family-friendly movie, Inside Out 2, go crazy. Red 1, Gladiator 2, that could be huge. We got Sonic 3. We got Moana 2. You know, don't overlook Moana 2. That could, that could be another Inside Out 2 right there. Another billion dollars. And then we got the Joker too. That could be another billion dollars possibly. So we do got some big movies coming out this quarter. Movies are obviously not dead. We just had an amazing Q3. And Q4, like I said, can possibly be better. This guy said GameStop back in a consolidation box. But CMF stayed strong and momentum trying to bottom out. So at the end of the day, we did have a red candle all the way down at $21.97. Like I said, tomorrow is going to be an extremely important day if we do see the momentum pick up i'm going to dump all my money back into gamestop call options you know i did take some profit but i don't i don't care if we see the momentum go back up i'm loading back into 23 dollar calls expiring sometime in november if we do break below 21 dollars and 80 cents i'm gonna hold off for a bit wait till we dip below 21 dollars and then somewhere around $20.20 possibly if we hit that area, I'm loading back into call options. That is just my game plan, so I'm definitely going to be watching the market every second tomorrow. But that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did make it to the end of the video and you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you guys doing? Make sure to go down and subscribe. Tomorrow, keep your eyes on the S&P 500. Keep your eyes on just the whole market. If we could see huge stocks, obviously like the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, the QQQ. If we could see a green day tomorrow, games stop is going to bounce up back to $22.50 and like I said even if the stock market comes crashing down the only thing that is going to keep GameStop up right now because it will follow the stock market if it comes crashing down but the only thing that will bring it up is an update from Roaring Kitty or from Ryan Cohen that's really the only way because Roaring Kitty brings the volume to GameStop and right now we're lacking that only around 7 million shares traded today so not terrible but not amazing either we're just right there in the middle. That's why tomorrow is going to be just a day that determines where GameStop is going to go over the next couple of days. Now, a bunch of people are going to say, oh, so you're bearish on GameStop now that you sold? No, long term, it is definitely bullish. Guys, I'm talking over the next couple of trading days. We might have a wig down at $20. It could happen, but obviously anything under that, you can look at it as an opportunity. That is definitely what I'm going to look at it as because I do believe the third run for GameStop and AMC stock is inevitable. But I will keep you guys updated on what happens with AMC and GME stock, so make sure to stay tuned on my channel. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. As you all know, I'm buying the dip. Here we go. Come on. Push it. Buying the dip. Buying the dip. Here we go.